Welcome ladies and gentlemen to this Mosebook presentation video. My name is David Furak and today I will present you the most important features of the educational presentation software Mosebook. In Mosebook, every teacher has the option of creating an own profile and to access a presentation material. All they have to do is just to log in. After logging in, the software offers us the option of choosing from ready-made textbooks, previously imported PDF files, or from presentations which our colleagues or we have created previously. Now, what is Mosabook? We like to define Mosabook as an educational presentation software, which its main purpose is to give help for the teachers to spare preparation time, to make the most out of their time spent in the classroom and to raise students' interest while presenting teaching material. Mosebook allows all these benefits by combining a vast media library, which is full of very powerful learning objects, such as interactive 3D scenes and tools, and Mosebook also has very nice annotation and presentation features. The illustration features of Mosebook are consisting of, for example, a relations diagram editor. We also have geometrical drawing tools, such as a ruler, compass or protractor as well. However, teachers also have the option of editing animations, such as these animations on this page. If we do not want to start from scratch creating a new presentation, the system also gives an option to import new PDF files. While searching online, I have came across a nice PDF file on the topic of climate change, which I have saved it to my computer. So I'm just going to quickly import it into Mosebook. As you can see, the import takes a very short time and after my PDF file appears as a new exercise book or as a new presentation. After we have started to compose our presentation and we have used the illustration and annotation tools, the system also gives us the option to take a step further and include learning objects such as educational videos, interactive 3D scenes, sounds or interactive exercises into our presentation. This can be done using our media library. I'm gonna choose a topic of my interest to launch a new presentation, which is going to be related to ancient Greek history. And I'm gonna discuss the topic of Athens in the ancient times. From our media library, I'm gonna be able to launch the media library and to access for instance, images, educational videos, or interactive 3D scenes from many sources. Since I don't have on my computer related images, I'm just gonna carry out an online image search with the Athens keyword. And the results are gonna be available for me to just drag and drop into my presentation. In this case, I have included this image into an exercise book which I have just launched a second ago. After a quick search in our media library, I was able to insert an interactive 3D scene on the Greek Acropolis, where the ancient state of this fortress above Athens is recreated for us in a controllable interactive version. Besides uh, graphically illustrating the Acropolis, the 3D scene also offers time travel feature, walking feature, and also built-in quizzes. From Mosebook's media library, I'm also able to drag and drop interactive content into the PDF, what I have just recently imported. And the topic is climate change, so I'm just gonna search with climate keyword in Mosebook's own media library, and immediately I'm offered several educational videos. After specifying the method of insertion. In this case, this is going to be a small icon perfectly fitting on the margins. After drag and dropping the video, the only thing the teacher has to do is just clicking the small icon and the video is going to play itself in Mosebook's built-in video player. Global warming, which would result in the sea level rising and communities on the shores. 
Besides offering educational videos, images and audio files, Mosebook also has a large collection of interactive 3D scenes in its media library. We can always in include a nice static image in our presentation, however it is much more impressive for the students to see an actual moving animated interactive 3D scene what the teacher can freely control. Now besides the visual information, Mosebook's 3D scenes are also containing written text and a narrated animation, the text available in many different languages. On top of the interactive 3D scenes and the elements of our media library, Mosebook also offers a collection of interactive tools and games. These educational tools are aiming to give support for all K-12 subjects for all age groups. What I have opened now is our Time Machine tool, which is an interactive historical timeline, where I have the option of searching for historical individuals, such as Plato, for instance. I can also place him into the center of a diagram among related philosophers, and I can insert this into my presentation on ancient Greek history, for instance, as a large icon. Very similarly, like as we have experienced with the educational videos, after just clicking on the link, the tool is gonna open up for ourselves, sparing us a lot of preparation time and making it readily available to discuss it during the class. The Time Machine tool was giving help for the teachers to discuss the topic of history, but Mosebook also offers many tools for sciences. A great example would be the Electro Kit, where we can choose from ready-made electric circuits and modify, for instance, the potential to explore how the voltage and the ampere is changing in the system. And just as with every educational video or interactive 3D scene, I can save it back to the presentation or PDF file, what I am using. We are also offering mathematics tools in Mosebook for younger kids to practice basic mathematical operations such as addition or subtraction with real life examples. In this case, using the money tool where they can try how it is to use real life money in different types of scenarios. In Mosebook's tool library, teachers can find a very special tool which is the test editor. The test editor is a great interactive tool for individualized assessments. The test editor tool offers numerous templates such as single choice, multiple choice, true or false exercises with what the teachers can create a complete worksheet which can be sent out to the students as a homework or a classwork. These exercises are including gap filling exercise, linking ones or label insertions related to the topic of geography, we also have crossword puzzles, however we can insert audio files such as the sounds of animals into for example linking exercises or we can insert complete educational videos which after seeing them related questions has to be answered by the students, in this case in a true or false exercise. After completing the worksheet the teacher can get an assessment on student performance. After finishing creating a presentation or importing a new PDF file and after creating a worksheet which is going to assess the students' knowledges, Mosebook also offers the option of sharing what we have created. We can choose to upload our exercise books, our imported PDF files or test editor worksheets into the cloud. We can share what we have uploaded into the cloud on an institutional level, allowing all the teachers teaching in the school to access the material. We can also choose to upload it publicly, however, we can also keep it in our private storage. If you are not sure how to use a feature in Mosebook, we made sure that you will always find help. The only thing you have to do is click the question mark icon, where you can access the Getting Started, which is a user manual for Mosebook, but you can also launch tutorial videos or written Mosebook help. By long clicking a button, you can also access great explanation on the use of this feature. Using Mosaic Education's products, digital teaching and learning is not gonna stop when the lesson is over. 
Going home, the students can access Moza Web from any kind of device and with its help they can also browse the elements of our media library, they can experience the same digital atmosphere what they have experienced while the teacher was using Mozabook during the lesson. Mozaweb also gives an option to solve homeworks online and to see the teacher's shared presentations. Mozaweb is a home learning platform and it's also a great communication and sharing channel between the student and the teacher. So what do you need for your classroom? To use Mozabook on an interactive board, you either need a Mozabook Classroom or Mozabook Multilang version. The difference between the two versions is that Mozabook Classroom is available on one specified language, while Mozabook Multilang is available in more than 20 languages, which means that the language of the software interface and the content can be switched at any times. Should you have any questions, please visit www.mozoweb.com where you can find product descriptions, tutorial and promotional videos as well. Thanks for watching.